if you find yourself distracted by your phone even at productive hours, MindLock is a pretty robust application you need to keep this in check. The app temporarily locks your device for a specific duration and you get preset times like 15 minutes, 30 minutes or an hour and you can also set custom times and simply hit the start lock. It takes it a step further allowing you to schedule your phone to be locked at a future time and even set it to repeat on specific days. Aside that, the app also tracks how you use various applications and gives you the data. When the phone locks, you cannot have access unless you restart your phone. But to be more functional, the app has a setting which, when toggled on, will keep the device locked even after you restart your phone. It comes with a widget as well so you can preset a duration and simply tap to start the session. It's a free, simple, useful application which can come in handy at some point. You definitely might know someone who can speak a different language and they definitely learned it watching a TV show with subtitles. Well, with DS Player, you can try it too. You know most video player applications support adding one subtitle at a time, while DS Player allows adding two subtitles and displaying them at the same time and for each, you can customize them. Aside that, the app works just as a video player with gestures to increase or decrease volume and brightness supports picture-in-picture, picture, pretty neat and useful application. For 100 operation and multitasking, one swipe makes it better. With it, you can swipe from the edge of your screen to launch applications and even perform certain actions and more. It smartly adds recently opened applications for easy access, plus you can add actions like taking screenshots, opening notifications, locking the screen, opening certain contacts, websites, files and more, and you can either drag and release on a particular application or action for it to perform or swipe to open the pad and tap to perform the action. You can customize the pad, use custom app icons, change the pad animation, customize the handle and more. If you like consuming information of all kinds of things happening around the world, Kagi News has you covered with a clean layout of news headlines which you can tap to read more about. Explore the sources, it comes in summaries, the highlights, making it easy to read in a short time. And you can also customize how the information should be disseminated. You get various categories from science to sports, technology, business, world happenings, plus you can add more in the settings. It supports multiple languages as well. And while Kagi News brings you information curated within it, Kagi Summarize summarizes any article you share with it. So whether a news article on Chrome or even a YouTube video, once you share directly with Kagi Summarize, it displays an overlay with the content summarized for a quick read. It is pretty useful if you have little time to spare but want to consume content. Definitely better to read short summaries than doom scroll reels in a free time. And guys, we are halfway into the video and I do hope you like the applications mentioned so far. If so, consider subscribing to the channel to not miss more incredible app review videos like this one. I featured this application called Ray Alarm in a previous video and it made this list once more. The app is by far the best alarm application I have ever used. Daily, I use this application for workout reminders every hour and to say a thanksgiving prayer every 3 hours. And it's a set it once, get notified whenever basis. And that happens with the interval based feature. So you get notified at certain intervals, you can choose specific days for it as well. And one awesome feature is called Quiet Hours, which disables the alarm reminders automatically between certain hours. Personally, I've set the quiet hours for my workout reminders between 9 pm and 8 am, so during those hours, there are no reminders. Another awesome feature is you get to see when the next reminder will ring and you can choose to skip the next alarm. Bonus features include Voice Alarm, where you can add a short text to be read out loud when the alarm rings. Useful if you are far away from your phone when an alarm rings, you will know what's up even before you reach your phone. And there is more like alarm stop challenges, adding image to alarms, statistics view and more. And it runs smoothly in the background even after you restart your phone. Super awesome application and it's totally free with no ads or in-app purchases. For tracking subscriptions, Subfox allows you to add your subscriptions by simply tapping the add button to choose from the tons of services already available plus in different categories. You could also use the search and if you don't find your subscription service, you can still tap on the plus button to enter the name, add category and icon. Tracking is made simple since you get to see your monthly, 
weekly or yearly spending right on the homepage. And if you have several subscriptions logged in, you can use the filter to quickly find a subscription. And it's supposed over 160 currencies. For a modern local video player, check out Refin. It comes with a Material 3 Expressive UI. It doesn't store video files in it by default. You can only open folder to access videos when you launch the application. It supports picture-in-picture, -picture, locking the now playing screen. It supports subtitles, adding and switching audio tracks. And I love the pill-shaped buttons. It stands out from the most and it supports gestures during video playback. Word Definer can be your modern dictionary. You simply type in a word you want to learn about and the app gives you results in details, like how it is used, the synonyms, associated words, so you could learn more words in the course. You also get results like words which usually follow the particular word, helping you string better sentences, and even words that rhyme with it for the rappers out there. So feel free to grab it, it could really come in handy and it's lightweight, so having it on your phone will not take much space. You ever find yourself in a situation where your phone's media volume surprises you with loudness unexpectedly? Well, with volume lock, you can lock all volumes to a specific level, one that can be convenient in any environment. So in case you forget to adjust them by yourself, it's not going to be a worry at all. Another use case can be leaving your phone with your kids and we know more volume means joy to them. So you can lock media volume and they cannot adjust it. In the settings, you can allow adjusting lower than the limit even if it's locked and there is also password protection to avoid mistakenly unlocking. This gallery application brings smart categorization by analyzing all the images on your phone using AI and grouping them. With this, you can easily find specific images without scrolling. The app is called Super Gallery. On the surface, it looks simple with this large grids layout with the rounded corners making the whole UI clean. And it's quite unique too. You can simply scroll to switch between tabs. You have the albums, search, and photos. And just like the photos tab, the albums tab also is very organized. Videos are also displayed in this rectangular form. It's all about shapes and rounded corners making the whole UI very pleasing. Under the search tab is where the magic happens. You get smart photo grouping with AI, even though not all of them will be accurate, but majority gets added to the right categories. You can access the trash, favorites, vaults for hiding media files, and in the settings, you can change the grid size, enable app protection with fingerprint unlock. The app is super awesome and modern, you definitely need to check it out. Moving on, this app comes packed with some useful media conversion tools like converting video to GIF, batch converting images, trimming videos, creating PDF from images, saving screenshots from videos. It is called Media Convertio and it's definitely a useful handy tool you should have on your phone. And there is no complication. Press the UI creates room for making use of these tools very easy. Under the video to GIF, there are more options depending on your file format. So you simply add your video, trim, adjust the output settings, and tap convert to have your GIF file saved to your gallery. Same way you can batch convert up to 25 images into various formats at a go, trim videos with preview timeline. Saving shots from videos also comes with its own settings like output resolution and more. Overall, it's a pretty useful tool for getting some of these things done. Usually, you will have to install separate applications to be able to do them. Plus, it is totally free with no conversion limits except videos up to 250 megabytes might fail to process. Check this out. This application can convert PDFs to high-quality audio for you to save and use anywhere. It is called Fratica and it's super genius. In setting up, you get to choose the voice you would like to use, plus you can change it anytime in the settings, in case you want to use a different voice for a different project. Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. You can either add documents like PDF, Word files, books, and more to have them converted to audio, which you can download to your phone. Natural sheet and short highlights, sheet butter, or you can share web article links to the app and also have them converted to audio. You can also paste text into it or add images with text on it to be converted to audio as well. You get to playback the converted audio before you download and aside downloading, 
you still have all previous conversions saved in the application. You can rename it and archive. It's such a pretty simple application on the front, but very solid when it comes to function. For grabbing text from images, I wish I could edit the text to be read out as how I want it since it's being grabbed from an image and can be read out in some weird way due to the arrangement on the image. Issues with spacing, paragraphing, and even how numbers are mentioned. 530, 1, and there are numbers kinda like bullet points added which I don't need. And I feel if I could edit the text, I can take it out. Few changes in the delivery and the option to edit the text to take out the added number bullets is really needed. Also, you get 20 minutes of audio daily so keep in mind or you can upgrade to the premium version. You probably have subscriptions running, whether to a software, streaming services or other productivity applications or tools. This app called Subtrack comes packed with these services in various categories which you can simply choose and add the details. You probably might have a local subscription going on which is not popular to be recognized worldwide. You can still tap the plus button to add it from scratch and customize it. You get to see the progress to the next payment time for your subscriptions on the homepage. Plus, you can see your expenses weekly, monthly or yearly. It supports several currencies so you can choose your countries for a personalized experience and it also supports multiple languages. Away from tracking subscriptions, Game Release Tracker, as the name suggests, is an application gamers will love. With it, you get to see popular upcoming games you can add to favorites and with a simple tap, you can schedule a reminder to the release of the particular game. You get to watch the trailer of games, read about them with the descriptions provided, they are also tagged so you get to know what kind of games they are, know what platforms it will be available on, whether Xbox, PS5 or PC, and not only upcoming games, you also get to know recently released games and recently announced games. You can filter the time frame whether you are into new games or classics, and ratings and reviews are displayed on each game so you get to go ahead and check it out too. Not forgetting the search bar at the top in case you want to find any game. Cinematic Q is also another awesome application for tracking this time movies. So you basically explore upcoming movies and you get to save for later, read about them. You also get to watch the trailer, browse in different categories. And there is a library tab where movies you've marked as watched or saved will show up. You can create lists so you can accordingly save movies. There is the news tab where you get to read stories about the shows, the movies, the actors and more. It is well designed and a solid application for you to track TV shows or movies. For mindfulness and productivity goal achievement daily, this app called One Done goes simple and away from chaos. It lets you add just one goal for each day, so you just type in your main goal for the day out of the many and at the end of the day, you can choose whether you did it or not. The app keeps track of every day too and for every goal you add, you get to add it to a category. And as you can see, I've only added one main goal for today, which is to finish and upload this video you are watching before the day ends. You can enable morning and evening reminder and it even comes with a widget too so you can see your goal for the day at a glance. It's a pretty clean, cool application, definitely worth having, like a productivity journal. With this app called OmniTools, you have access to some basic useful tools all packed into one application. Tools like Age Calculator, Savings Goal Calculator, Time Zone Checker, Fuel Cost Calculator, which you can use to estimate the fuel needed for a trip, plus a bunch more. And they are in categories as well. You get Finance, Date and Time, Math and Numbers, Unit and Data, and there is more. Under these special tools, you get Focus Timer, barcode scanner and QR code generator and even bill splitter. Plus you can search for tools using the search and there are no ads, it has a clean UI and yeah, that is it for this application. Lockbloom is an application that can store passwords and also generates passwords. With password generation, you can customize the length, include or exclude symbols and numbers whether uppercase or lowercase. And once you are satisfied, you just copy. You can add tags to passwords, notes, labels and more and of course there have been applications like this recently and I've even reviewed a couple of them. But this one, aside combining password storage with password generation, it looks better, it looks more polished and of course there is app security 
you can go biometric or use PIN. Plus, you can back up and import your data. And then we have this application which comes with a certain unique concept. It is called Volume Scroll and it basically lets you use the volume up and down buttons to scroll a page. You can adjust the scroll amounts, choose apps in which this app cannot work in and since it uses the volume keys, you still need to control media volume. So with that, you double press or long press. And I'm not sure who will use this application over just swiping the thumb on the screen. I mean, we've had applications like Flex Scroll, which automatically scrolls the screen when the phone is not in your hands. Maybe you are on TikTok while your hands are busy, it can scroll the page for you. But with this application, the phone is in your hands and it's even more tiring doing the up and down gesture on the volume keys than swiping. But as I mentioned, it's a pretty unique concept and it definitely deserves a credit. Comment below in what way you will use this application that will actually be beneficial. If you made it to the end of this video, drop a like and let me know your favorite app from the list down in the comment section. Also, if you enjoyed the video, I'll appreciate you so much if you consider subscribing to the channel for more app review videos like this. And as always, thank you for watching.